Hello everyone, Triple S back here with some more Minecraft. 50 fills of green, reminder, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube chat, central links in the description, and outro, please like that, please like. So, last time, we did a bunch of stuff, and I am um, now just smelted stuff, so now we have more steel ingots. Now, we need to turn these steel ingots into cables. Now, the basic cables is two, and then redstone. So, let's split those up, to like so, then one, two, three. There we go, we've got 24 basic cables, now they can carry 200 RF but it would be nice if that can carry more because down here the Magnum Crucible if we see, oops not wrong thing, that one it uses 400 RF so it would be nice to carry more than that so here I am now turning a lot of iron ingots into enriched alloys I do not know how many I need because I am planning to make these ones now thankfully it's just basic ones, it doesn't. it's not an upgrade from advanced we need to make these so I guess we can just make a lot of these and then pump out. Let's make that an even number. Right, let's just take them ones for now. So then it was. How do you make it again? Two redstone either side of the stuff, so. There we go, we've got four elite cables, capacity of 3200 RF. That is way overkill, but it's worth it because it's only just a couple of extra redstone and we can have infinite redstone. Only problem is now it won't be powering downstairs. I don't think cable would connect to the aluminium wire. Also, it popped out a redstone. Why did it pop out the redstone chipset? What? I did not tell it to click. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, let's try it again. There we go. That's why it was making the redstone one first. There we go. That'll make that. Okay, we've got a redstone chipset left over. We could use that for something else later. Shut up, Schmig. Right. Uh, it's here. One more. Boom. Right, and then it's... Another... Oh, I don't have enough. Oops, okay. Uh... See, we've got blocks and blocks of redstone, thanks to the stuff. See, it's really good. The magic crops are freaking amazing for this stuff. Make all the magic crops first, and then you make all the stuff. Right, so we've got eight, and I'm guessing it can also connect to basic cables, but now we just need to connect up upstairs. There should be enough. I'm guessing it actually maybe does connect. Oops, not mean to put it there. Now, I'm not sure it increases the speed time, actually, but it does mean it won't run out of the energy at all. Now, I just need to see downstairs. Have any of these machines started running out of energy? Because it seems it does connect to the wire. Let's try putting... Is it empty? Let's try putting a redstone... Another thing in there. Is this going down? No, it is not. Right, so I guess we could just connect up these. That's a 200, but we really need more than 200 for the Micro Crucible. But yeah, there we go. Right, so now we have pretty good power going on. We've repurposed this. It's continuously getting water from the end of the tank. It's continuously getting hydrogen power. It's now powering the laser, which we could. Uh, Move later on to downstairs, which would be a better place than having it outside here in the open. 
but eventually soon that'll make a rest on iron chip set and then we need to just make a pulsating one and we can make our first gate now we do have like 20 how much was it like 28 20 29 uh wood pipes which means i need to make 29 autarkic gates and then for the triplicator machine which triplicates like gold and iron and lead and copper and tin and that that uses like two or three more gates and those ones are more complicated those were iron and gates and stuff so and then I need to make some redstone wire on top of that and then there's the duplicator machine which is basically what we have set up downstairs at the moment but I'm gonna move well not move but I'm gonna set up a different one in there on the opposite wall. Triplicate is going to be that wall, duplicate is going to be that wall, and then the machines that the triplicate trap, the ores that the triplicate trap triplicate will get pumped into duplicate to duplicate. And then once we finish setting up everything, the gates and the machines, we're going to need to start figuring out a place to store everything because chests probably aren't going to cut it once we start setting up harvesters and planters for the crop fields which is where more ender tanks come in a lot more teleport pipes some um, kinesis power pipes for wireless pretty much wireless power and oh my god there are going to be so many planters and harvesters out there it's going to take a lot and that's also why we're going to be needing an energy uh, thingy that holds a crap ton of energy and outputs a bunch of energy Okay, there we go. There's a chip set. Now we just need. I am out of redstone in my inventory. So downstairs. You would think you could maybe put in a chip set and then like an ender pearl and you would come up with the same kind of crafting recipe, but no. No, 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 no. Right, there's that. That's. Mix two. So it saves a bit on time, but I am not sure how long this is going to take. This may take five ever. And I'm guessing we could probably set up also another laser. More lasers speed up the time. How do you make a laser? Oh my god, I should do that for right now. What's the recipe for a laser again? I completely forgot. I could have just looked at my iPad actually. Right, two diamonds. Wait. Yeah. Two diamonds. Oh, wait. We don't have any more diamonds. Oh, whatever. I need to do some croppages. Because we've run out of diamonds. Well, we have one diamond. But we only have four diamond essence. So we need to do... I'm not even... Uh, I've used up all my diamond block with all the pipes and stuff and I'm gonna be needing a lot more diamond in the future I can tell you that so at the moment I can't do anything so I don't even know how, mu how much power can be transported by aluminium wires I might be wasting time making cables but actually it's gonna be less than this because or maybe it's just the actually it's not so much the wires it's more the output of the machine and uh, here, the output for a hydrogen generator is only 240, so we would need to make an energy cube. I think it, uh, actually, I, don't, I think it's called an energy cube, but something along those lines. Energy. Energy cell. So we'd, not need, we'd need, like, one of these. Which, oh, no, it's one of these. Advanced energy cubes. Yes, I thought it was cubes. See, there's basic ones which output... I have no idea how much they output, but they store a bunch, and then it's all down to the wires after that. So the hydrogen thing outputs, and then that output is transmitted along the wires, so it doesn't matter how big the wires are now that I think about it, which means I just wasted time making cables, but it, it saves some, it, it, it filled in the gap of me waiting for, kit, for the chipsets. But yeah, you'd have to make an edge cube, and then the cube would output, and, it, and then it'd all depend on the... Uh, thingy. Wires. See this one can hold 300 and... no, 3,200,000? I have no idea. Yeah, something like that. 
But that holds a lot, so this whole setup would be moved one space to the right, and then an energy cube will be put here, and it will just get full up with energy. This is going to take a while. Wow. How long have I been going for? 10 minutes. Right. Is there anything I could do in between then? Anything at all? I have no idea. <coughs> Pardon me. E. Ugh, there's some basic ones there. Yeah. Like a gun, master cannon. That's cool. But yeah, in the future, computer uh, uh, chests aren't going to cut it for storing all the items that we have. We're already running low on chests. Every all of these chests have got stuff in them, apart from these ones, which you know are output chests. Even that's got stuff in it. All except this chest, which doesn't have anything in it. So in the future, we're going to need some place else to store our items. Now where I'm going to be storing them? Inside a computer. We are going to turn all the items into data and store them in a computer with its disk drives. Which will be cool wool. But at the moment there is not much else I can do. See there's a lot of that's the other thing. I might as well just talk while we're doing this. I haven't talked in a while on videos. I usually just rush through, do everything, like, oh yeah, oh my god, I'm getting killed. Oh my god, this is happening. I've never had like, time to stop and talk. But let's have a chat. I've actually found myself to be more of like, instead of a typical, like, let's play a gamer where I play for like, oh my god, let's see what happens. I'm more like, I'm prepared for what's going to happen and I'm showing it to you. And it also goes into the realm of me showing you how to make things, like in this. Like, I had everything set up. I knew I had the stuff, pretty much. Although I did get a bit sidetracked and made something that I wasn't planning to make. But, you know. And, um... I see myself as more like a... Tutorial... Player. Let's tutorial, pretty much. Instead of a let's player, I'm a let's tutorial... La, 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 la. And I show you how to make things in the shortest amount of time possible, as fast as possible, which is just the same thing but in less words, as efficiently as possible. So like if I was to replay a game that I've played before, I'd probably know a bunch of shortcuts in that game and where stuff is and I would probably be, as I'm playing, talking through like, oh you could cut through here, pass all these enemies, uh, there's a gun here which you can pick up, it's a really good gun, there's like a sniper rifle over there, there's a rocket launcher over there. It's like if I was to play Halo 2 and I was to play the little outskirts and I wasn't wanting to play it legit I think I, when I did let's play it I played it legit but if I was to play it again and I didn't want to play it legit I would show you how to just cheat out of the map you could do certain, certain jumps right at the start of the level which get you up to the blind skull and then from there you can even jump even further out the map and just cut the whole courtyard bit and then if you keep jumping and do a grenade jump, you can cut the whole sniper alley a bit. And then just jump down. And then you go into the, the dark corridor. You crouch in a certain place in the corner. The elites just walk right past you. So then all you've got to do is deal with some grunts. You go out. You jump down. You run towards where the, the ghost would come from. Which stops them from spawning, I think. If I remember correctly. It should stop them from spawning. Or make them spawn straight away. Where you can either then hijack one of those ghosts. Or if they don't spawn. Just turn around, walk back, there's the warthog waiting for you. Jump in the warthog and cruise all the way to almost the end of the level until at one point you find a ghost abandoned and if, let's say again, if you're in the warthog, jump out of the warthog, get in the ghost and then ride the ghost all the way to the end of the level. That, I do believe, is like the fastest level that you can complete if you use those hacks, those cheats. So I was thinking like, I watched an episode of Achievement Hunter where they were doing a go and it was like complete uh, a level of Halo first. Any level any level in any of the Halo games complete, be the first one to finish first. Bar levels where it's just like a cutscene where they count as levels for some reason. And I was thinking like, I'm watching like Jack play uh, the level in Halo Reach where you where you end up getting in the uh, the ship and flying in space and I was like he's picked the complete worst map because that map 
stops you from skipping cutscenes because that map can be pretty short and you can grind through it. So they stopped you from skipping cutscenes. So it's like he picked the, the dumbest map to uh, the dumbest level to go through for this challenge. And then I was just thinking, outskirts. If I was there and I had myself a copy of Halo 2, the longest period of time would be loading the game up. And then it's just smooth sailing from there once I get into the into the level. It's getting the game in, loading the game up, loading the letting the whole thing do its thing and loading the the level up, skipping the cutscene at the start, getting out of the dazed fog where you can't move for a couple of seconds, and then just go to town and run. And I'm pretty sure that's like really fast level. I was just thinking like if I was there and I played that level I probably would have won. Won. Whoa, what happened to my voice right there? Anyway, I have been talking for the longest. But now we finally have our rest iron chipset, a pulsating chipset, and other stuff, and a gate. So now I do believe you put them back in here? I think you put them back in here. There we go, Nautarchic gates. So now we've got to let this do its thing. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's not going to take as long. It's not going to take as long as the... Uh, sitting chipset. Oh wow it's been a long while since I've been able to ramble on a video. It's been a long long while and just think now I'm gonna like I said about me being the tutorial let's play I don't want to be like I'm doing right now sitting here and doing nothing and making you watch me make things like I feel like I should just show you how to make it for the first time and then I'm gonna go away and off screen make the rest of them and then come back and be like okay I showed you how to I showed you how to make this one now I've made the rest off screen legit so now we can just carry on with making this thing instead of sitting through like this would probably take like five episodes if I was to make 29 of these autocad gates and then make the other gates later on for the other machines it would take like five to ten episodes of me sitting here watching this and rambling but instead, I could just go and um, do everything on screen. Like, I might even not even... Like, that's a thing as well. I might even not do it where I do this properly. Like, I have infinite power now. So I can just like, okay, here's the ingredients for all the things I'm going to make. Now, I could just go here, put the incendiary to the table, put the redstone in, and wait for it to make a chipset. Or, I could just figure out all the ingredients for a pulsating chipset throw them away, get them out of the chests, throw them away, spawn myself in the chipset. So much easier, so much faster instead of me sitting here doing this. And I, but I don't want to come across as cheaty on the screen where I'm like, okay, I have all these ingredients, now I'm going to throw them away, and instead of going through the painstaking hours of doing this on the screen. I'll do it on screen, but I won't do it off screen, you know what I mean? Soon we shall have a Nautarchic gate. Now this effectively eliminates us having to make a crap ton of redstone engines and somehow positioning them in the walls against the these and then blah. So right, if I now put the gate on there, open it up, right, items in inventory. There are items in this inventory because there are these which I'm going to take out. Right, so there's none in there, but if there were, I could set it to energy pulse. So that would take out like eight items and send them up. Or I could set it to single energy pulse or redstone signal. So if I had like say eight of them in there. Now I set this so then energy pulse is on. And it just pulled out all of those things from the inventory. And they're all out. And now eventually these will go along. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I did sell the sapphire. So they'll get there it is. Now they'll go into here. They'll all go in. Now it will automatically start crafting and make four sapphires. Now these sapphires are different to the normal other sapphires that we have, but you know, make do. And then bang! Four sapphires. See that's how it works. See then, now we put another Autarchic gate on there which says when there are items in the inventory, pull them out. So then it'll pull them out, pop them into the transport 
teleport pipe, and then the teleport pipe will pump those to a chest somewhere, since those ones can't be crafted into anything else. So all the ones that like craft to ore, like this, iron ore will go in. Oh, crap. Okay, I just realised that I'm going to have to do some shifting around of the things, because obviously I need to have teleport pipes set to certain quad frequencies to go to the triplicator and the duplicator. So I can't have things that can't be crafted anymore going into the triplicator or the duplicator. I'm going to have to shift those around. I did not think of that at the time. Idiot. But yeah, there you go. That's how you make an autarkic gate. So I guess in future, if I was to make any other gate which used an autarkic gate as a base, then I will just skip up to the point of having an autarkic gate and bleh. Also, a bit of an ender tank. I set up a better power source with a hydrogen generator. And I showed you how to make cables and elite cables which carry a better capacity. But the only problem is that the hydrogen thing only outputs 240 instead of 3200 or whatever it is that the cables do. So we do need to make later on an energy cube to hold the energy which will just output as much as the cables can carry. Oh my god. And it's getting to night time. So that means I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you for watching. Reminder, Twitter, Tumblr and YouTube channel extension links are in the description and outro. Please don't forget to leave a like. So I'll see you all next time for some more Minecraft 50 Fields of Green. See you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.